Good morning. Good morning, Antonio. Thanks Good morning. For your time. Could we get the latest these days? It's injury news and COVID news affecting the squad, please. Um, in this moment, no news. Uh, also because uh, yesterday we had a day off and uh, um, and uh, Romero is uh, injured and Sessegnon uh, is injured. Mm. No, no news at the moment. So just to clarify on that, the, the, the COVID outbreak, have you got all the players back now and no new cases so far? No, and uh, we don't have uh, uh, new cases of COVID. And, uh, no. Mm. All the players are back uh, in training. And there was a meeting yesterday on, on, on this issue, uh, on player welfare, on the fixture congestion, um, about five subs as well, just generally with the Premier League. Were, were you at that meeting and, and what, what, what was discussed and how do you feel about the, the pressure on players in this period? <laughs> if uh, I have to be honest... Uh... I think that uh, it uh, it was a meeting uh, that uh, mm, yeah, I mean, we tried we tried to speak uh, and uh, um, some coaches uh, uh, try try to to speak and uh, uh, to ask uh, about uh, solution, but. I think that uh, everything was uh, decided, and uh, I think uh, yesterday and uh, it was a wall. And uh, for this reason, also I prefer to don't go into into the uh, the discussion, the conversation. It's a waste of time. I think so. Why? Why? Yeah. Ah, but I, 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 as I said to you before, because when you have a wall in front of you and and uh, you can speak, you can ask what you want, but every everything was uh, every decision was uh, was uh, taken. Thanks, Gary. Uh, Pete Colley, please. Hiya, Antonio. Um, have you done anything different this week to, to keep the spirits high amongst your players? How have you kept people happy? But uh, for sure, this uh, this uh, uh, Christmas period uh, is a period that uh, make you happy, no? Make you happy, and to live uh, Christmas, uh, uh, I think, is an amazing period for for many. For many person and uh, uh, in England, uh, you live this period with the football. I think that uh, maybe we are uh, uh, one of the uh, the few, no, the few uh, countries that decided to play in this uh, in the in this period and uh, uh, don't give holiday. And for this reason, I think that uh, uh, you can enjoy. You can enjoy in one hand uh, because you can celebrate and to stay with your family, but in the other hand, uh, and uh, you have to pay attention to prepare the game, to leave football in this period. And uh, for sure, this is a great experience. I lived this experience in, the, in, uh, in my past and I enjoyed it a lot. And now I'm living again. And uh, the, the spirit uh, um, uh, must be happy. And uh, because the, the, the period, I think for me, is a fantastic, is an amazing uh, period uh, uh, during, uh, uh, during Christmas. It must have been really pleasing to see Harry Kane score against Liverpool. But was it a happy Harry Kane that you found when you, when you first joined Tottenham? Yeah, but Harry and, uh, uh, showed me great uh, availability and uh, showed me to be involved totally in uh, in Tottenham project. And uh, 
uh, I see him uh, every day and uh, uh, I see that he's, uh, he's happy. He, he leaves uh, um, the, the training ground, uh, he leaves the, um, the dressing room and uh, he leaves uh, during the training session in, uh, in a fantastic way. And uh, um, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy for, uh, uh, for what I'm seeing every day. And finally from me, has Patrick Vieira surprised you that he's become a good manager um, and especially in the Premier League? No, I'm not surprised because uh, um, Patrick Vieira uh, was uh, a fantastic midfielder and uh, usually uh, midfielder, when you are midfielder and uh, then you have more possibility to become a manager because uh, uh, for the position no, that you, you play during the game and uh, uh, you see... Uh, both situations, offensively and defensively, and uh, uh, Patrick, and uh, I was sure that uh, he could become a, a really good manager. Uh, he's doing very well, and I'm happy for uh, for him. Buon Natale. Buon Natale, <laughs> grazie. Uh, George Cummins, please. Thanks, Anthony. Antonio, hello. I just wondered, on this Premier League meeting, can you tell us what you said you wanted and where are you going to play all these matches that Tottenham have got to play? Because you've got so many games now. Yeah, but uh, um, now and uh, we, we are uh, uh, our next feature uh, are against uh, Crystal Palace, uh, and then uh, Southampton, and then uh, Watford. And uh, we don't know. We don't know. Um, uh, Next plan and the next uh, next games uh, when uh, um, we are going to to play the the, the games that we have to uh, Premier League decided to postpone. Um, and just on the Premier League meeting, I know there was a captains meeting yesterday. I believe Hugo Lloris was on it. Can you tell us how he felt? Was he disappointed when he left the captains meeting? No, I didn't understand. No, 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 only, only manager, only manager, yes, they, only okay. manager and, uh, and the Premier League, yeah. Okay, thank you. Merry Christmas. Sorry. Thanks, George. Uh, Rob Guest, please. Hi, Anthony Neal. Uh, Giovanni Lo Celso has been on the bench the past couple of games, but he's not come on. Is he someone you're looking to play over the festive period? Because he's only played in two games on the year so far. But uh, Giovanni uh, was uh, was injured, and uh, if you remember, uh, during the um, uh, the period with the national team and uh, uh, Romero and uh, Giovanni Lo Celso uh, came back uh, injured, and uh, Romero is still injured, and uh, Giovanni is trying to. Uh, to, to have a good training session, to improve uh, his uh, physical condition, and uh, and then to uh, to be ready uh, to to play with uh, with us, and uh, uh, that's all. Where do you see his best position in your Tottenham setup? Because since he's been at the club, he just seems to have played in a number of different roles. But uh, he can play. Uh, as a midfielder, and uh, if we play, we decided to play with the three midfielders. So he, he can play uh, as number ten. Uh, if we decide to play with the two number ten, I want a striker. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Dan Kilpatrick, please. Hi, Antonio. Um, hey. A month ago, after the Mura game, you said uh, the level wasn't so high and, and things weren't so simple, uh, Tottenham. I wondered now, do you feel the level is already much higher? Um, and have you been surprised um, by how quickly you've able to been able to raise the level? But, um, 
uh, for, for sure when uh, when uh, when I speak and uh, I tell something and uh, I don't change my opinion but uh, uh, at the same time uh, and uh, I have to try to improve to improve the situation in every aspect and uh, I always say that, that uh, to improve the level of uh, the Tottenham team I uh, will need to improve the level of single players and the only way that uh, I uh, I know, uh, to work, to work with my players, uh, to improve uh, my players. I don't complain about uh, uh, situation that uh, could be uh, positive or negative. But uh, when uh, when I spoke, I, uh, I said uh, something, and uh, um, it was my opinion. But at the same time, uh, and uh, we are working. We are working very well. We are working uh, every day in a hard way to try to improve every single player because this is the only way to improve the level of, of Tottenham. But I think the gap with many teams exists and uh, we have to know this. And uh, this uh, uh, shouldn't be an alibi for us, an excuse, but only a, um, it must be a boost to, to try to, uh, to give more, more and more. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. Uh, George Sessions, please. Hi, Antonio. Um, you just Thanks. mentioned about playing Palace on, on Boxing Day and then two days later you, you've got Southampton. Is it almost impossible for the, for the players to be playing two games in, in three days? And Are you fearing that you're going to get injuries during, during that, little, that little period? Yeah, and uh, it's not easy. It's not easy for us. It's not easy for... Uh, for uh, all, uh, all the teams and uh, to play after only uh, one day uh, um, is not simple. And uh, uh, you have to manage the situation very well because uh, uh, the risk uh, to, to lose players uh, uh, for injuries. And I think this, uh, we have to pay great attention, especially, uh, especially my team. And uh, because uh, don't forget that uh, um, we we had uh, half half team half uh, half squad with uh, with COVID, and uh, in, in the previous uh, uh, previously in the press conference press conferences I I say that uh, when you um, you take COVID and then. Uh, uh, you have to live with this uh, situation for uh, two, three weeks uh, after you uh, you finish, no, to have COVID, and uh, we have to try to manage the situation very well, and uh, because uh, for sure physically and uh, a bit uh, the players uh, with COVID uh, they are not one hundred percent fit, and uh, but um, we must be ready. And uh, for sure, uh, in these two games, uh, we try to to rotate, uh, to rotate the players to find a good balance, a good uh, um, solution. Also, because then uh, we want to to have a good result and don't and not and not only to play two two games. And just a follow up for me, it was this period a couple of years ago that, that Harry Kane um, injured his, his hamstring. Are you looking at him and, you know, I know you've previously said that you almost need him to play every game, but are you looking at him and fearing a little bit if, if he does have to play these three games and, and 90 minutes in all of them as well? Yeah, I know. I know this and uh, it's difficult to uh, to think uh, that... Uh, uh, yeah, it's difficult to to start the game, no, without uh, without Harry, uh, because uh, I think he's a point of reference in uh, in our team. Um, for sure, these days uh, I speak I speak with him, I speak with uh, with the players uh, because I want to understand very well which is the real uh, physical condition. If uh, there is uh, someone uh, uh, that. Uh, as a bit of fatigue, and uh, it will be very important to uh, to have a good a good chat with uh, with the players uh, because we have to manage this period. That this period is not uh, 
is not easy, but not only for us, but uh, for uh, all, all the teams in the Premier League. Final one in this section, Sungmo Lee, please. Hello, Antonia. Hello. Uh, my, my question is a, a little bit similar with dance, but let me ask you in a different way. The Tottenham fans are very happy to see there are many players such as Ben Davis, Harry Wings, Eric Dyer, who was developed much better uh, since you arrived Tottenham. So can you tell me uh, how did you make them a better player in a short, uh, short period of time? And what's the next step for them, do you think? I have a next step, a next step for sure, as to uh, to continue uh, to improve. And um, next step, uh, uh, this is next step to continue to work and to improve uh, tactically, physically, technically. And uh, I think uh, we have uh, space for improvement and. Um, uh, the most important thing is uh, to continue to have this commitment, this uh, will, uh, this desire uh, to improve themselves. And uh, this is the most important thing uh, for, uh, for us. Because as, uh, as I said before, and if you want to improve the level of the team and our, our level uh, in the team, and we need to improve the level of a single player. And uh, if uh, we are able to do this, and for sure, uh, we are going to uh, to become uh, uh, stronger than uh, than now or than uh, than the past. Thanks, Angmo. Okay, so we'll end the broadcast.